This is the Royal Panek, also and more commonly referred to as the Royal Pleco, and its nickname is well deserved. It has a beautiful pattern and they can grow to quite an impressive size. And if you're thinking about getting one for yourself, or if you've already picked one up, let's go over everything that you'll need to know when keeping the Royal Pleco. The Royal Pleco comes to us from Southern Colombia. Now technically, there are different varieties of this Pleco, about six, and you can tell the differences by the patterns on the Pleco. But because the patterns are so similar and the differences so minuscule, they're all just categorized under the same name, the Royal Pleco. In the wild, this Pleco typically reaches about a foot in length. And although it's a majestic fish, as it grows in size, it also grows in temper. They are notorious for being territorial, so it's best to keep only one of these per tank. Now, while they can be territorial towards other royal plecos, they actually get along well with other social fish. Now, in the aquarium, the royal pleco serves as a main feature of the tank, especially if it's well kept for and reaches an impressive size. So if you want to keep it with other fish, I suggest choosing fish that will complement the royal pleco. And you can do this by sort of taking into consideration where in the tank the pleco is going to spend its time. The royal pleco typically spends its time around the bottom and the sides of the tank. So it wouldn't really make sense to keep them with, say, a bunch of loaches or snails, African dwarf frogs, or cory catfish, fish that always swim at the bottom. The first reason being that all the activity in the tank is going to be concentrated at the bottom. And the second reason being that overcrowding a swimming column in your tank can stress your fish out. Instead, you can add some mid-level swimmers like barbs, tetras, and angelfish, and top-level swimmers like hatchetfish or gourami. This way you can have a well-balanced aquarium. When it comes to feeding your royal pleco, as with any other fish, always consider a varying diet and not just dry processed foods. Dry foods along with frozen foods and live foods will make for a great diet. In the wild, the royal pleco is primarily herbivores and they eat mostly algae and driftwood. But in the aquarium, they should be fed a plant-based formulation of sinking pellets, wafers, and granules. All types of frozen foods are accepted by the Royal Pleco. I personally feed mine bloodworms, spirulina brine shrimp, and frozen mysis shrimp. And as far as live foods go, they love all types of worms, as well as vegetables. They'll appreciate a piece of lettuce or spinach, peas, cucumber, anything green, really. As far as the tank setup goes for the Royal Pleco, they love to munch on driftwood, so be sure to pick some up. I would even keep an eye out for driftwood in the shape of an arch, where your pleco can kind of retreat into, kind of like a little cave. They'll appreciate other natural decorations like plants and bogwood, and they like well-filtered water with a nice current or flow to it. And as far as the water parameters go for the royal pleco, they'll do best in a slightly acidic water with a temperature in between 72 and 82 degrees. 